you'll note that in the global settings menu that there are two tabs. The first tab that we dealt with was general. The second tab that we'll address is those of the units that we'll use for measurement and those that will be displayed on the screen. The first unit is the long range. This can be selected from nautical miles, statute miles, or kilometers. After long range comes short range. This can be selected with foot, meters, or yards. There is a short and long range changeover point which can be customized. So if we wish to show feet or meters under a certain range threshold, this can be selected from as little as a tenth of a mile to virtually any range that the user wishes. Depth is available in feet, meters, fathoms, or the Paso Brasi. Height, or altitude above water, for the topography display in Navnet 3D on land, can also be selected from feet or meters. Temperature is available in Fahrenheit degrees or Celsius degrees. Speed is available in knots, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, or meters per second. Wind speed, also available in knots, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, or meters per second. Air pressure, available in hectopascal, millibars, millimeters, or inches of mercury. Oil boost pressure, for NEMA 2000 gauges and other gauges, available in kilopascal, bars, or pounds per square inch. Volume for gas consumption as a future option available in gallons or liters. Now we'll address some of the system settings from our system menu. And there are a number of tabs here that we'll pay attention to. The first tab is our general tab. The first selection in the general tab is our operating language. The factory default is English, and as you'll see, there are a number of different languages that can be selected for our international users. In this case, we'll remain in English. Our second selection is our message window dwell time. The dwell time is the period of time where certain messages will remain on the operating screen of Navnet. This would be information, for example, about tidal graph or the AIS pop-up information in either the radar or the plotter screen. After dwell, comes our connection diagram, and this will provide a simple overlay or outlay of those units that are connected in a system. We'll show you an example here. By accessing our connection diagram or device list, we can see a very simple list of every item that is connected to our network, both via Ethernet as well as NEMA 2000. After connection diagram is our GPS status screen. This is a familiar screen. This is where we can gauge the relative strength of the GPS signals being received from the constellation of GPS satellites. After GPS status is the installation wizard, and the installation wizard has been covered in a separate video. The last two selections that we have in our general tab are to restore default settings or to exit the menu. 